How's it going everyone? It's Abdali here with a rock, paper, scissors tutorial for Metopia on Nintendo 3DS. For those of you guys who don't know, rock, paper, scissors is in the game and it allows you to earn a lot of money. In this video, we're gonna jump it to the test. We're gonna see, is there a guaranteed way of earning money every single time flawlessly? Or is it just a bunch of RNG random nonsense? We're gonna find out in this tutorial video. So thank you guys for watching. And of course, if you guys are interested in, in even more Metopia, then definitely click on the playlist in the description and watch my Let's Play. So here we go. Uh, you guys might be wondering, hey, uh, what's rock, paper, scissors? How do I play? Okay, so you simply, if you're at any inn, you can go to the arcade and you need game tickets. Now, the only way that you can get game tickets in the game is if you uh, follow the survey. At the beginning, when you pop up the game, it sometimes asks you a survey, you can get three game tickets. You can scan in any of your amiibo one time in total. You can't scan them in more than once. And of course, you can find game tickets in the overworld. So anyway, you click on that and we're gonna go over to rock, paper, scissors. I've got 190 of these tickets. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this to the test. I've seen a lot of theories floating around saying, uh, yeah, if he makes a rock gesture, then pick the same thing that you chose last round. Or if he waves his finger, uh, then pick the weakness of that you chose last round. Or if he curls his finger, then that means, uh, you know, choose a strength of what you chose last. You know, there's a lot of nonsense floating out there, but like this right here, it's on. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out right now. We're gonna put it to rest. All right, so I'm ready. So this rock, paper, scissors guy, for starters, it's gambling. <laughs> it's just straight up gambling in a kid's game. That's fine because you play and if you win, you can walk away with it or you can double your earnings. So here we go, pay attention. Once you pay your ticket, you don't get that ticket back. There's no save scumming. There's no soft resetting to get your ticket. It saves after you use it. So don't even try that. So here we go. Now you're gonna have to pay attention to the guy's hand, right? You see his hand over here? Uh, once you click on next, he's gonna do some sort of gesture. Watch. Okay, so he made this gesture of closing his hands like a fist, right? Now in round one, there's no guarantee. You think about it, it's what, 33% chance to choose any one of these? So 66% chance you're going to make it past this round or tie. Um, I don't know, there's no guarantee on what this means. I'm gonna say it's paper. So let's just go with scissors. All right, see, now by me saying that this means paper on the first round, that doesn't mean anything. That could just mean dumb luck. I just could have gotten the 33% chance that I picked the correct one. Think about it statistically. All right, so we got him. So now I picked scissors the first round, right? We're gonna test this whole use the strength, use the weakness, choose the same thing. We're gonna test out that theory. So right now, let's do it. So what do you say? Do we feel a lucky streak coming on? No pressure, but you can use those winnings. I will absolutely do it. For science, for the let's play, let's go. We're figuring this out right now. I do feel lucky. Let's watch him. Okay, so he does the curls his finger, right? Or this is uh, making the rock gesture. This means, according to the uh, people on the internet, it says, pick the same thing that you chose last round. And I chose scissors last round. So let's do that. Okay, did we get lucky? Did we get the 33% chance of winning or is that the algorithm? I don't know, it's too early to tell. And only one round is, all, is not enough testing. So anyway, I want you guys to test this along with me. All right, so here we go, looks like we got him. I know, Enzo, I don't, I don't like rock, paper, scissors either. He's like distressed back there, you can hear him. Any, Enzo. Okay, he, Enzo, come here, buddy. You wanna come on screen? You wanna help me out? Maybe you need like, you need some luck involved. I don't believe in luck, but anyway. Baby boy. Enzo, come here. Okay, he's running away. All right, here we go. So remember, now I picked uh, scissors twice. So let's watch him. Let's watch this guy. Feeling lucky? Sure. Now watch. He's got the finger, he, this is the curling of his finger, which supposedly means choose the strength of what you chose last round. So that means the strength of what I chose last round is going to be rock. Rock beats my scissors from previous round. If rock wins, then that's what it is. Okay, so that may have worked. All right, could, or you know what? <laughs> could we have just gotten lucky? I don't know, you guys be the determining person. I want you guys to be the detectives here, not me. I'm just the guy that's showing you this. All right, here we go. So we picked rock last time. 
What do we say? Failed Lucky Streak coming on. No pressure, but you can use those winnings to have another try. There's 4,000 gold if you win. Feeling lucky? We do. We do feel lucky. Let's go. Come on, then. All right, so he is totally wagging his finger, right? Or he's curling his finger. So that means put the choose the strength of what you chose last round. Is that right? So I chose rock last round. What beats rock is nothing but paper. So I'm gonna go and choose paper. Okay, so now what happens in a tie? There we go, what's the algorithm for a tie? I am going to choose paper again. Interesting. So if there's a tie, do you, are you supposed to choose the exact same one, all right? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So here we go. So far, so good. Either we're super lucky with our 33% chances, or this supposed algorithm of choosing weaknesses and strengths may be correct. I'm gonna keep an open mind. All right, so here we go. How to get uh, 8,000. Here's 8,000 gold if you win. This is gonna be pretty cool if we actually win it. I'm gonna be really happy. But at the same time, I wanna lose so I can prove this thing all garbage, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's kind of what I'm going into this uh, video making. So here we go, let's come on in. Uh, let's find out, what is he doing? So he did clench, right? This is a rock gesture. Uh, supposedly, meaning uh, pick the same thing that you chose last round. Last round, remember, I chose paper. So I'm gonna choose paper again. And if it's a tie, I'm gonna choose paper again. See, see, look, look, you see what happens. We lost at the very end, okay? There's no algorithm for what happens during a tie. We almost had 8,000, that's stupid. Oh my gosh. All right, but you know what? We are gonna play again because that's what we're testing here. So it's not 100%. So for all of you guys that say, um, you know, making the rock gesture, picking the same thing, waving your finger uh, like, uh, like that, um, picking the weakness you chose last round, curling your finger, no, it's not 100% and we've proved it just now because they actually tied with us. And in the event of a tie, what do you do? It's just random, it's, it's, it's random every time. There's no guarantee for it. But it's too early to tell. Let, let's try this another couple times. All right, so remember, first round, it's completely lucky. This, I don't know if it means uh, he's he wants me to choose scissors or rock, I, I, I don't know, so I'm gonna go rock. Okay, so this is my, one of my original theories where the first round, if he goes like this, he's gonna choose scissors. If he goes like this, he's gonna choose paper. And if he goes like this, maybe he goes rock? I don't remember. It's random, the game's random. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right. So, uh, what did I just choose? Uh, I chose rock. Okay, so I chose rock. Let's see. Let's keep on going. It's rock, paper, scissors. We're gonna figure this out. Feeling lucky? I do feel lucky. Let's go. Come on, then. Okay, so he made a rock gesture. Pick the same thing that you chose last round, according to that theory. I chose rock last time, let's go rock again. Now it's a tie. Now what happens in a tie? I'm gonna choose rock again. And then I lost. And then I lost right there. Ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing. There is absolutely no way. Right now, that's two times that I've proven the theory wrong. Let's try again. All right, 500 gold for anyone who can beat me. We're just gonna keep on going. We need to prove this wrong. There are so many people in my comment section that that like are so adamant that this need, this is the way. This is so, this is like scripture. <laughs> All right, he's wagging. I don't know what wagging means. Uh, wagging means what? Scissors? Wait, so I'm gonna go rock. Okay, he goes rock again, so now what? I accidentally misclick on scissors. So there's no guarantee for the first round. If you can get past the first round, maybe you have a shot at it. And forgive me, oh, I'm not quit. Okay, fine, I guess I'm quitting. Maybe we need a new character. And I don't know, does that change? Like every, oh, here we go, that's right. This guy right here, he looks familiar. Maybe he's got better luck involved, right? No, dude, there's no such thing. It's all programming, it's RNG. That's what I'm coming to, to the conclusion of. All right, here we go, watch. Okay, wagging, I'm gonna go for rock. Okay, I won, lucky 33%, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Let's keep on going. We gotta make 8,000 in this video. I really have to. Okay, so I chose rock, right? 
Okay, so now he's um, he's curling his finger. Choose a strength of what you chose last round, which is paper. Okay, now what? We tied. All right. Paper again? I get scissors. Or, or was I supposed to do something else? If it's a tie, should I go to the strength of what I did before? Maybe that's what they meant. Okay, so we debunked the whole idea of if you tie, choose the same thing. I've heard that going around somewhere. So let's try uh, choosing the strength of what you chose last time when there's a tie. <laughs> or, <laughs> or whatever it was before. Let's, you know, let's test that theory out. Okay, here we go. All right, theories that we're testing. At the beginning, wagging, I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna go with paper. And I lost. Wagging, does that mean he chooses scissors? I don't know. Let's go. If you get past the first one, then maybe you have a shot. I don't care how many tickets we waste on this tutorial. We need to get to the bottom of this. curled finger that's stupid why do I do this <laughs> okay uh, that's paper this is uh, what dude it's random at the beginning I'm, look at me I'm like actually going in and taking notes on first round on first round what he does that's so bad but there's no notes there's no notes to take it's completely random All right, let's go. Okay, clenching fist. I could have sworn that meant paper, so I'm gonna go with scissors. Okay, so making the fist, maybe, or it's just luck. All right, now comes the time, all right? Now that we got past the first round, let's figure this out. Feel a lucky streak coming on. No pressure. All right, let's go. We're gonna make eight thousand bucks at the end of this tutorial. I swear we are. Watch. What did I do last time? Did I do scissors? Oh, come on. I forgot what I did. All right, so we did scissors. Let's let's uh, let's go. So we did this thing again. Uh, rock gesture. Choose the same thing. I'm gonna go scissors. That's stupid. That's dumb. That's <laughs> dumb. It. That's not it. We proved it wrong so many times. I'll, I'll keep on going. I can do this all day. Oh my gosh, there's no luck. There's there's nothing. It's There's no advanced way of going. You just got lucky. And if you saw a video of someone, if you saw a video of someone getting $8,000, they just got lucky. There's no way of replicating it. All right, so uh, waves his finger. Uh, according to the previous rounds that we've done, that means scissors. So I should be able to do rock. But I don't because there's nothing guaranteed. Got it. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, I have proven to you guys that first round is completely luck based. But I need to further prove. Like I'm on this mission. It's like Mythbusters here. I'm on this mission to actually prove that the whole strength and weaknesses thing is a bunch of balagna. So let's go. Let's figure it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. It's so bad. All right. Come on. Keep on. Okay, remember this? Last time it was paper. So let's go scissors. And what do you know? No, it's rock. Completely random. All right. Well, Abdallah, what happens if you leave the inn and uh, go to a different inn? Maybe you have different prizes. Maybe it works on certain inns and maybe it doesn't. You know what? Don't even tell me that. That's such trash. <laughs> How about this? How about you save and quit, Abdallah? And then once you reload your game, you're going to have the exact same odds and the algorithm will work. Yeah? Is that right? Okay, let's prove it. <laughs> let's prove it. Hey, what do you know? Let's go. Game tickets, man. I, forgive me for, like, sounding so skeptical about it. It's just, I've been a sucker for this little Game Boy device with a hand coming out of his head. I've been a sucker, and I've wasted countless game tickets on him. And people still think that there's a way of beating him. And I'm here to prove that wrong. There's no way of beating him. And if you do, you got super lucky. Wagging the finger, remember what that happened last time? That means that he chose scissors. Rock, okay. Okay, so now what? What do we do? I'm just gonna coat scissors again. I don't know, I defaulted to scissors. And then I lost it. 
<laughs> There's just no way. Uh, better luck next time. He's just taking all my tickets. That's cool. All right, let's go. We're here to prove it. Okay, come at me, bro. Meant paper one time during this video. He started off with a come at me, bro, and then that meant paper. So I'm just gonna go with scissors. And what do you know? First round, completely RNG. Random number generated. I'll be here for days. Let's get 8,000, shall we? I'm throwing away all my tickets. You know what I should really do? Um, let's try again. Oh, yeah, you need a character. And <laughs> if the character is wearing glasses, then he has a 15% luck boost. <laughs> no. No, don't be making up stupid theories. All right, let's go. It doesn't matter what he chooses. We've already proven this many times. Wagging? Rock. What do you know? Wow, we got lucky there. We got the lucky 33%. Okay. Now, I chose Rock. I want to prove this. Feel lucky streak coming on? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, man. Feeling lucky? Yeah, I do. Rock, right? Come on, then. Pay attention. Okay. Clenched makes a rock gesture, meaning picking the same thing you chose last round. That was rock. Done. Done. Ladies and gentlemen, I rest my case. We don't need to watch this anymore. Rock, paper, scissors is trash. It's, uh, if you really want to try your luck on it, go for it. I, I implore you. Prove me wrong. I want you guys to. And once you find a consistent method where every single time you win $8,000, then come to me in the comments about it, okay? Where you don't lose. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, hey, what are you gonna get out of this other than proving the fact that using arcade tickets to play rock, paper, scissors is not a good way of making money in the game. How do you make money in the game? Well, it's all about the roulette, ladies and gentlemen. If you've scanned in all your Amiibo, if you have um, went through and you have, um, I don't know, gotten a whole bunch of game tickets. Instead of spending them on rock, paper, scissors, you really want to spend them on the roulette. Now, every time you go into a battle, the roulette changes. And sometimes there's a roulette that's about 80% all gold and yellow. Depending on how far you are in your game, that item or the weapon, the gear that you get off of that may or may not be worth a couple thousand. If you're really early on the game, the weapons that you get off of these roulettes are pretty garbage. You can sell them for maybe like 150 bucks, 270 bucks. But the further on you get, the better gear you get. And if you can nail one of these roulette wheels with that 80%, I highly implore you guys to spend your tickets on the roulette. Right now, we're just showing, for example, that we can get a 50-50 shot here. That's a coin flip. I'm cool with that. That's better than 33% chance on getting rock, paper, scissors. And what do you know? We absolutely got it, which is cool. I would normally not risk it on this. I would only risk it at the 80% one. But still, you get an item from this. And with the items, you can do anything you want. You can give your item to any one of the characters within the game. Feel free, go ahead and do it. Yeah, hey, you got a new item that boosts your stats. That's great. Awesome. You can catalog it. You can 100% the game. Go for it. But once you do give it to them, and they can't carry two of them, that's where you really start banking. I'm hoping that this will actually work for this recording, because we're not doing any edits or anything like that. So yeah, it looks like we did. Keep going, keep going. One more, two. Oh, two more. No, no, no. One more. Oh, dang it. So Jolly Jaunt tickets, this is another way of making money. If you have someone that's in a room alone and you receive the Jolly Jaunt tickets, you can actually give it to the person who's alone in their room. And what they'll do is they'll actually sell the tickets for money. So keep that in mind if you have someone alone. If you don't have someone alone, you're just going to boost your stuff. All right. But I do want to show you guys getting that roulette one more time and then uh, essentially um, selling it for money. So let's play again. This is way better. Like, risking 50-50 chance rather than 33, I'd take it any day. But I'm not a gambling man. And again, we're not gonna get it. That's crazy. See? That's kind of garbage. I think one more time. Jolly John tickets. Come on, buddy. Let's go, Abdallah. <laughs> we're just gonna go again. Or, you know what we should do? Here, watch. Before you even get this, if you don't really care about your friendship on certain teammates of yours, 
Here's what you need to do. Watch. Pro tip. Pro tip. Done. We're gonna go to check on party. We're gonna split up everyone. By having everyone split up, if we do receive the Jolly John tickets, we can make some money off of it. So this is essentially turned out to be, instead of 50% earning money, we've got like a good maybe 65, 70%. Okay, so either way, we got the extra spear. Let's call it a day. Now I'm gonna show you that although I'm kind of at the beginning, the Skull Spear is probably not gonna be worth a lot of money, but like I said before, depending on where you guys are at, you may make some money off of it. So Skull Spear, I'm gonna get 920 bucks. Hey, that's better than almost two rounds of rock, paper, scissors. So if you wanna make money, this is exactly what you do. Save your tickets for when you're in a little bit later portion of the game where all the items that you start buying all your teammates are in the thousands just so the value of the game tickets are a little better for you guys. So ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We've earned 920 bucks. We've almost earned 8,000 bucks off of pure luck, but that's really going to be it. So ladies and gentlemen, I implore you, please test away. I want you guys to, I really do. Like I, I want a way of like cheating the system and making a whole bunch of money. But you know what? The sad thing is it's not going to happen. I would say the best way of making money in the game is using the roulette and aiming for that super amount of gold. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something from here. Forgive my negative attitude on it, but I felt like the community of Miitopia just, just has this like impression that you can beat rock, paper, scissors, when in fact I've proven in this video that you cannot. So play the game, earn gold the legitimate way through the roulette and just playing the game normally. Anyway, uh, if you guys have any theories of your own, feel free to test them. And once that theory proves 100% of the time flawlessly making you money, then come hit me up, all right? <laughs> Uh, this video was kind of fun to make. I enjoyed it. So the truth, ladies and gentlemen, about rock, paper, scissors and how to earn money in Metopia. Enjoy it. So you guys can indeed uh, continue watching the Metopia playlist. It's very cool. What we do in my Let's Play is instead of adding Mario characters or adding some random people that are in me central we're adding qr codes from viewers like you guys so go watch that it's really fun uh, you guys can also uh click on there for my newest channel you can check out some recommendations there you can add me into your metopia if you want feel free but other than that make sure that you guys are subscribed subscribe to be notified of the latest and greatest metopia and nintendo 3ds and switch content i'll see you guys on the next one looking forward to reading your 100 percent theories in the comment section below take care